Okay. What's up guys? Mel and Meg here again. And today we're here to confess some things. We have a few things we need to get off our chest. So today we're here to do the guilty confessions tag. We're gonna go through some questions we looked up and confess some of our our dirty little secrets, basically. Of a regret, hope that you can keep it. My dirty little secret. Who has to know? Here we go. Here we go. Question number one. What is your guilty pleasure? Should I start? Yeah. Okay. So this isn't really, I mean, a lot of people know this about me, but I'm addicted to Investigation Discovery, like all the murder mystery shows. I, I could probably kill somebody and get away with it. Like, Mo, <laughs> Mo, you cannot say that. Mo! But it makes you really paranoid though. When you watch all those, like you're just like, oh, is somebody out there? But I still, I still find it really, really fascinating. So I'm addicted to those. What's well, something like weird that you do that you like enjoy doing, but not many people know about? Dancing. Making dances. Hip hop is my passion. I love to pop and lock and jam and break. Which is weird. I tell everybody I can't dance because I don't like dancing in front of people. People are like, no, 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 no. Like dance, like dance. I just very rarely do I actually like, like give it all you got. She's good. No. Share something you did a long time ago that you're still ashamed of. This happened to me a few times, so I'm ashamed of this like a couple times over, but I would accidentally dial 911 and then the police would come to our house. I was five, like, and so, like, the police would come to our house and my, my dad would be at the door like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and I would, like, and they would come just be like, which one of you did this? Like, we know one of you that I would always be like, oh. it, it was Sean. <laughs> no, I have two older siblings. I have two older siblings and being the youngest, uh, you know, I'd be like, oh no, I'm innocent, it wasn't me. The police come to the door and I was like back behind the door just like I ain't got no words. I still feel really bad about doing that because it wasn't just like one time like me trying to be funny. It, I think it was like at least three times. So as a kid, um, my and even now my family keeps popsicles in the house at all <laughs> times. We always have popsicles in the house. I don't know why, but we just do. And I used to take the popsicle, go into our family room where our TV is, sit on the couch, have my popsicle, and throw the popsicle stick behind the couch. I would take the popsicle stick after I was done and just toss it. And I remember one year my parents, like my whole family, was doing some sort of spring cleaning. And my, my parents went behind the couch and saw all these popsicle sticks everywhere just all over the back against the wall Gosh. i blamed it on my older brother he got in trouble but yeah just like mounds of popsicle so sticks. so bad next question share one bad habit you have i don't know i'm just kind of like good at everything <laughs> <laughs> oh this really isn't a bad habit but it really pisses my mom off i like play with pens my mom will get so angry with me she'll like, Give me the other pen, Morty. One time, like, we were, yeah, it was kind of funny. It was, like, we were cleaning, and she lifted up the couch like we were gonna, like, vacuum, like, under the cushions. My mom found, like, 15 uh, pens. Steady! Shut up! <laughs> but, yeah. I think, I think mine is responding to texts. I don't, I don't know what happens. Like, I'll see that it's in my messages, but I won't open the text, and I'll just be like, oh, yeah, like, I'll get to that later. I have time, and I can respond, and, like, Two days later, I'm like, oh man, like <laughs> that text, oh god. And the texts I don't respond to are usually the important ones. That's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sucky at responding to people. <laughs> Reveal one lie you've told, big or small. Oh. This one's hard because I have the worst poker face ever. Both so, of us do. Yeah, both of us just suck at lying. Like, my parents could read right through me. It's yeah. all over my face if I try to lie. Like, I, I'm one of those that smiles and laughs. Yeah, I start yeah. to smirk I a little like, bit. Did you, did you do this, Mac? Yeah. Yeah! So I try to just be, like, honest. Yes, yeah, absolutely. As much as I, like, I mean, I'm already a brutally honest person anyway, so it's like, why would I get around, like, why would I try to lie to get around something? Oh, like, is cutthroat. I'm pretty cutthroat, so might as well just tell you the truth instead of trying to beat around the bush. So as a kid, my mom was really big on making sure my brother and I knew the dangers of talking to strangers. She really wanted it to get through our head, like, you do not talk to strangers, you don't go with anybody, and 
With that came her telling us any time a kid got kidnapped. But, like, we'd be going outside to play, and, like, we're walking out the door, and she's like, Kids, be careful. Like, two more kids just got kidnapped last week, so, you know, stay close. Today, I was in the back of my house. My driveway um, at the house we lived in was in the back of the house. So I was out there playing basketball with my brother, and I think he went to go ride his bike or something. So I was there by myself shooting basketball, and a car pulled into the driveway like two houses down from us. And it was someone, like it wasn't my neighbor, I didn't recognize them. They got out of the car and they were like, hi, like how are you? I was a little kid, they were trying to be nice. <laughs> and, and I remember standing there like, I dropped the basketball, run in the house, and I told my mom that someone just tried to kidnap me. <laughs> They shut down the whole block. I was getting questioned and interviewed by like detectives. And they go barge on. <laughs> this is so bad. They go barge and like break down my neighbor's door. He came out and like I had to, I, I realized I was like, oh, it's not a kidnapper. Like not everyone's a kidnapper. <laughs> we ended up getting that guy like a really, a nice, a nice gift. Like a nice basket of goods because of my like terrified young self. So like I said, I, I'm a horrible liar and none of my lies I've ever told were that big to get, um, get almost somebody arrested. It wasn't a lie, like I didn't actually, I, it, I, I didn't think I he was said, lying. No. Stop! <laughs> when I'm sad, Spongebob. <laughs> One eternity later. Back to business. Come on, tell your lie! I'm trying! <laughs> that was disgusting. You sounded like a 13 year old boy. For this story, I had to go right to the source. I had to go to my mom. So I had to go to her to ask her, Mom, like, what's one lie that stands out to you? that I told when I was little or whatever. My my family had this white kitchen table that we brought from South Carolina, which is where I was born, um, when we moved here. And my dad got the idea he wanted to like, sand it down and stain it and repaint it, all this kind of stuff. Like he wanted to do it himself and he did. And to this day we still have it, it looks awesome. It's a nice table. It's a really nice table. One night I was at the kitchen table and I put a loose leaf piece of paper on the table and then took a Sharpie and wrote directly on the piece of paper, nothing on the back, and it bled right through into the table. So what I wrote was like right there on the table, right on all my dad's hard work. And instead of just being like, mom, dad, I just took one of our like table covers or whatever, or placemats, and just covered it up and walked away. <laughs> like that'll be good. And then we ate dinner that night at that kitchen table, and then we took all the placemats off to wipe down the table, and my mom saw what I did, and they were so mad at me. One, because they knew I did it, I didn't fess up, and then when they asked me about it, I told them, like, to their faces, I was like, No, that wasn't me, like, I didn't do that. And, yeah, they read right through it, and I got in so much trouble, because instead of just owning up to it in the beginning, yeah. I lied about it twice. <laughs> Share something that you preach but never do. Whenever someone's sick or someone's really stressed out or... Like having a rough week or something, I am somebody that is like, oh my gosh, you really need to take a break, take some time for yourself, go home, get a good night's sleep, and you just need to like take it easy for a while, like back off, you know, just to rest and like take care, of, like taking care of yourself. Um, I like preach that like so much, and then like I get sick. And I'll just be like, no, 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 I can't. Look, I, don't, I don't have time. So like, that's that's probably the main thing. Like, I don't. I always tell people like, slow down. And I personally do that at all. never do that. So that's probably the number one thing I preach but never do. So one thing that I preach but never do is like proper good communication with somebody. Like if you're upset or whatever, like just to tell somebody that you're upset. Like get it out there. Just be like, hey, listen, can we talk? I never actually do that. I will let it simmer and I will let it boil up until the worst possible moment and then I just blow up. Mo will let that bake on 350 for yeah. about seven hours. Yeah, and then I'll just, and then I always end up saying something I regret. I'll like, I'll sit there and like it's written all over my face and I'm pissed. 
and I won't say anything until someone goes, like, hey, Mo, what's wrong? I'll be like, first of all, definitely don't, like, I don't speak up when I should. Like, yeah. if you're upset about something, say it right away. Like, I, I let it boil, and it just, it never comes out the way that it should. Have you ever stolen before? If so, what? No. No. <laughs> Next question, Next please. question. Feel one act of revenge. I've never, like, I've always thought that I could. Be like, oh, I could get back at this person for doing it, but I never would go through. No, but like, you know, like, <laughs> when I was like younger and be like, oh, this person said this mean thing to me, I'm oh, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna come back with something better. And I never do because I was just like, you know what? It's not even worth it. My parents were really big on raising me that if someone is mean or like rude to you, to stay away from them. Yeah, like they're not, they're not like, good to be around. Like let them be a jerk. That doesn't mean that you have to make yourself any Don't less of a person see. because of that, you know, because of how they're acting. So yeah, I don't think either of us have ever had an act of revenge on somebody. No, I've never done anything like that. No. Last question is name a mischievous thing you did as a child. I wasn't the mischievous type. You weren't. I was not like that. I could never get away with anything. You used to like sneak out for like sleepovers. We wouldn't go for, we'd like go hang out in that person's backyard. <laughs> we're sneaking out like, to we're the sne yard. Yeah, we thought we were so cool sneak sneaking out. We would literally go hang out in that person's backyard. I never did anything like, I, I never did anything like really bad or anything like I that. I think the most mischievous thing I used to do was I used to go in the yard as a kid and find a big stick and come in the house. And um, as a kid, my I used to wear bandanas all the time, so I'd get one of my bandanas, pack up all of my valuables, <laughs> and <laughs> like put it, like tie it around the stick, and go through my house telling my family <laughs> that I was running away. I'd make it like halfway through my neighborhood and they'd come get me in the car, and I would just be walking down the street like a four-year-old with this like thing on my back, like, I'm leaving. Country. I'm not sharing the other things I used to do, but overall we were good kids. Yeah, we were like, it's hard to be like, oh, I was so bad. Like, I did this stuff. No, I was too scared to be like that. That was the Guilty Confessions tag, guys. It wasn't really. I like, mean, it wasn't really that bad. It wasn't that juicy. It wasn't that juicy. No tea was spilled, but. Just like stupid questions that we wanted to answer and thought, yeah. like, maybe you wanted to know. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Da, da. Make sure to to. <laughs> I can't talk. Make sure to subscribe to Mo's channel if you haven't already. And do we have anything else for today? No, I think that's all for today. I feel great. Wow. I feel good. I, I feel like a whole new person. I'm honestly. ready for the freaking weekend. Let's do this. Let's do it. That's all we have for today, guys. So we will see you next Friday. You, my dirty little secret. Next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you almost fell. You